This video is about reading thermometers in Celsius. One of the things you need to remember about thermometers is that, first of all, they use negative numbers for very cold temperatures, temperatures below zero, but also they are essentially a number line. So if you're pretty comfortable with number lines, you should be pretty comfortable with thermometers. And it's important to look carefully at the numbers that are written on the thermometer to decide what the temperature is that you're looking at. Okay, so first one. All right, we've got uh, our first thermometer here. Is, uh, it's uh, the high te highest possible temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, and the lowest possible is minus 50 Celsius. Now, you'll look, if you start at zero, because that's probably the easiest one to look at, and then you look at 10, how many of these small lines do you see between 0 and 10? Well, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, and then there's a fifth one for 10. So the space between 0 and 10 is cut up into 5 pieces. So that means that each of these little lines is going to be worth 2, okay, because you have to go 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? So that's how you know what each of these lines is. You have to look at the space between uh, the number you want to start with and the number you want to end with, how many parts that space is cut up into, and that will tell you how much to divide by. Another way of do looking at it is if you say 0 to 10, all right, divided by the five sections, so 10 divided by 5 is going to be 2. Okay, so that tell, the 2 tells you how much each of the small, each, how much each small line is going to be. All right, so let's, um, uh, why don't I, uh, pa why don't you uh, pause the video, uh, see if you can work out what these temperatures are based on what I've told you. And then restart the video, and we'll go through what I think the answer should be. Okay? So pause the video, give it a try on your own, and then uh, start it up again, and you'll find out what I think. Okay. So our first one here, um, obviously the line is here. So what you do is you look at the number on the scale right before... Uh, the, uh, the thermometer level here. So the number just before is 20 degrees Celsius. And the next biggest one over is 30 degrees Celsius. So that we know the correct answer is going to be somewhere between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. We also know that the two, that the little lines between 20 and 30 are worth 2 degrees. Okay, so that means that this one must be 22 Celsius. Okay, 22. Okay. The next one over here, number two, is over here, and we can see that uh, the uh, number at, uh, below what we're looking at is minus 50, and the number above what we're looking at is minus 40. So we know that the, temp the correct temperature is going to be somewhere between minus 40 and minus 50. All right. And again, we know that each of the lines, each of these bits here, are worth 2 degrees. So we have 40. Now remember, we're going down this way. We're not going up. Okay. We only go up uh, when we are above 0. When we're going down, when we're below zero, we're going down. Okay, so this is 40, that'll be 42 degrees Celsius, minus 42 degrees Celsius. So minus 42 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's have a look at this one here, number three. Now three is a bit tricky because the level on the thermometer is right between two little lines. So there's a line there, that's two, four, and then the blue line is right between, so that means it's going to be not six, but five. So it's going to be 
15 degrees Celsius for that one. 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, and now we go up to this one. Number four, that's pretty straightforward. That's 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Okay, so 38 degrees Celsius. And the last one on in this set is here. And this is another tricky one. It's right between two lines again. All right. So again, because it's below zero, the easiest thing to do is start at the low number and work your way down. Okay, so it's minus 10, minus 12, minus 14 would be there, but the blue line is between the 10, sorry, between the 12 and the 14. So that means that this is minus 13 Celsius. Okay, minus 13 Celsius. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next set. Okay. We've got our next set here, and um, why don't you have a look at these and uh, see what you think of the uh, correct answers are, and then I'll fill in the answers and uh, see how you do. Okay, so pause the video, fill in the answers, or write them down on a piece of paper. And then when you think you're ready, you can restart the video. Okay, you'll see on uh, number six that uh, this one's pretty straightforward. There's 40, 42, so the correct temperature will be 42. Okay, and with our next one, number seven, you can see that we've got minus 20 here, minus 30 here, so we know our correct answer is going to be between minus 20 and minus 30. And we can see that the blue line is right up against one of these small lines. So that's minus 20, minus 22, minus 24, minus 26, minus 28. Okay, so minus 28 is our answer for... For number 8, it's a little bit more tricky. There's 30. The blue line is between 30 and the next small line, which is going to be 32. So... That means that this blue line is indicating 31 degrees Celsius. There's our 31. Okay, for number 9, our blue line is here. And uh, minus 30 is at this end, minus 40 is at this end. And again, it looks like it's right between the two little lines. So we have to go 30, 32, 34, 36... And then 38, the blue line is before 38, so that means it must be 37, so it's minus 37 degrees Celsius. There's our minus 37. Okay, and our last one is pretty straightforward. Here's our blue line. Uh, zero is at one end, 10 is at the other. Again, we know that each of these small marks is 2, so that's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, so the blue line is at 8 degrees Celsius, and there's our 8 degrees. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.